Hello, my name is Josh Thunder, and today we are starting our lessons in Dino Wrangling. Dino Wrangling is a complicated feat of teamwork, determination, and knowledge, where all three are required to successfully take down any large prehistoric animals we focus on. Looking at all the different dinosaur species we can wrangle, they all have distinctive body types, shapes, behaviors, and sizes, and it's important to lay out broad categories of these species before going to more specific capture methods. In this first episode, we'll discuss different types of dinosaurs and the different methods we have to capture each species. Microdinosaurs are the very small dinos that usually live in the footsteps of larger species. They feed on the scraps left by the larger dinosaurs and very easy to catch because of lures and food traps. Some examples are Comsognathus, Microceratus, and Kakuru. It's also important to know your mini dinos so you don't mix them up with a baby of a 30 foot Jurassic predator. Speedy carnivores to the steel bison and cross wraps with a small theropods that use their immense speed and agility to quickly strike their targets before they even know it hit them. To capture these creatures, all that has to be done is set up a food trap and wait for the creature to fall for the trap and get captured. Another option is to receive them as a small, fast vehicle and tire them out and tranquilize them. This tactic is very safe and effective, however, it takes a long time to execute and can be costly in terms of resources. Mobile herbivores are medium-sized dinosaurs who are known for traveling large distances and patrolling large territories. These species have amazing stamina with tremendous speed and agility, making them extremely difficult to capture alone. There is some internal diversity in this group, but Gallimatus and Hadrosaurs mainly using their mobility and stamina to avoid conflict with predators. It's a useful tactic to use stealth in capturing these species to avoid having to run them down to save time and resources. Pachycephalosaurs use their ram heads to defend against predators with high accuracy and big impacts from their craniums. However, while they can defend themselves from similarly sized threats, they have to run to avoid larger predatory threats. They are hard-headed and proud species, which are very territorial. The best way to deal with these guys is to approach them from head-on and distract them from one team member while another team member takes a shot from a hidden location. Medium theropods are quite the standard case when it comes to dinosaurs, as while they are ca difficult to capture and take down, especially when in packs, it's also the class we know the most about, and has the most information regarding how to successfully capture and contain them. Starting with the Lophosaurus, larger adult individuals usually only travel in pairs or family groups. These creatures have deceptively large range due to their poison spitting attacks. They have great accuracy, so if you decide to capture them, they have to approach them in a heavily covered vehicle or protect the body armor to avoid the poison. The Nautica is possibly the most famous dinosaur in the world besides the large Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops. They are fast, agile, intelligent, and vicious and always have attacks. They are quite a difficult creature to bring down. However, there have been some tactics to develop to deal with these daring Dromaeosaurs. The basic plan is that with a small team is to separate the pack of Dromaeosaurs into isolate individuals and take them down to trank dunks. This tactic is also effective against other social dinosaurs. These animals are in a very unique spot compared to other dinosaur species as they are not small or quick like the species we discussed before. However, they are not heavy and slow some of the animals we'll talk about later. They have strange body proportions which lead to unique functions in their ecosystem. The Baryon is a smiosaur that lives on the shores of estuaries, rivers, and lakes, feeding on fish and other aquatic species that live in the water. They have a long slender head and sharp claws to give them great success in hunting for fish. Despite their tall bodies and intimidating appearance, they actually fight docile animals. This makes it so it's definitely the easiest large dinosaur to capture. A few close range crank darts on the berry and it's captured. Therizinosaurus is an even weirder dinosaur than berry, eating trees and other tall plants in the rainforest and brush. They use their long sharp claws, strip leaves and other plant matter from trees, and their beaks help them chew the plants. They can be quite territorial animals, which be huge claws to defend themselves against any aggressor. Due to their temper, it's best to capture the berry by surprise, using long range strength darts to get the job done. These species are essentially living tanks, with lots of armor for dealing with predators. This consequently makes them difficult to capture, however, there have been some tactics developed to deal with their armor. Stegosaurus is the least armored of these dinosaurs, only having armor on its back and tail. This armor consists of large plates, which are used for a variety of social and defensive uses. These plates make them look bigger than they actually are, which makes them more intimidating than predators. They also have a tail ending with four sharp thagomizers, which are used to protect from particularly bold predators. Due to the lack of armor around the body, it is much easier to get trank darts on the animal and capture it. 
And Callister's bodies are covered in armor, thick plates fused all along the body, making it difficult for predators to get into his body. This also makes it hard for trick darts to get into his skin through the armor. Due to this fact, it is necessary to employ unconventional tactics to capture an Ankylosaurus. One such tactic is to bait an Ankylosaur into a cage by placing food to its capture point. Triceratops, the most social of the armored dinosaurs, tend to stick in family herds or larger mixed individual herds. These ceratopsians are also very brave and proud animals, tending to band together against any threat that challenges the herd. Due to this behavior, it's important to split up the herd and isolate individuals into your capture zone. Once separated, distract the Triceratops from one team member, then trank it on the body. Remember to tranquilize the frill, as trank darts on the frill are ineffective. Cyanoceratops are very similar to Triceratops, so treat them with the same respect and caution as if it were a trike. Large carnivores are unexpectedly diverse because despite all being similar, they are all separated by how they hunt their prey and their main mode of attack. But Thalassaurus and Giganotosaurus, both these species have long sharp teeth and use the slash into prey and claw toward moves, pursuing their prey over a long distance. Gigas are larger, less social, while aloes are faster and more agile. The best way to capture these carnivores is to perform a surprise ambush on them and catch them off guard and quickly trank them. Tyrannosaurs and Carnotaurs both have their head and mouth as the main business end. These species both have small arms and a very powerful bite, which is used to deliver lethal blows on their prey. Carnotaurs are faster and have more endurance, whereas Tyrannosaurs are larger and have much more powerful bite. Both these species' hunting strategies are followed by tricking them to chase you and waste their energy, and then bombarding them with trank darts before a quick getaway. Sauropods are the largest dinosaur species of all time that dwarf any other land animals. This extreme size makes it a challenge to capture and contain these species, so clever plans and a lot of resources are needed to take them down. Brachiosaurus is one of the tallest animals that ever lived, being 33 feet in height, eating leaves and plants at the top of trees where other animals can't reach. Due to the lack of predators they face, they are quite docile animals most of the time. The problem of capturing sauropods with their immense size is transporting them. Fully capture a sauropod needs to lure them into a shipping truck as nothing else can transport them and fully restrain them in the cage. And that is a brief rundown of all the different dinosaur species we have found and are able to capture. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for individual videos focused more on each species in particular in the future. Thanks and stay wild.